following contest is a tables match. The only way to win this bout is to place your opponent through a table. Coming down the aisle from Detroit, Michigan, weighing 308 pounds, Big Daddy Cool, one of the all-time greats in WWE history, Big Daddy Cool. One of the best big men of all time, Big Daddy Cool, looking to wreak a little havoc. The swag, the saunter, there is only one Big Daddy Cool Diesel. Byron, hearing you use the word swag somehow makes even Big Daddy Cool less cool. I thought it sounded fine. Get out of hand. Ooh. There's only one other man who can deliver the Tombstone Pile Driver with the same power, the same force, and the same level of destruction as the Undertaker. And you're looking at him, the Devil's favorite demon, Kane. That's how you wear down your opponent. Goodness, this hurts. Oh! What a strike right on the mark. Kane's tombstone pile driver is an unstoppable instrument of destruction. The demon has put countless superstars out of commission with a devastating maneuver. After someone's been dropped with the tombstone pile driver, they're never the same again. In fact, it could result in the end of that superstar's career. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. You want to talk about WWE Hall of Famers taking things to the extreme? The first time many fans saw somebody put through a table was in 1984. Randy Macho Man Savage drove Ricky Morton of the Rock and Roll Express through a table with a pile driver at the Mid-South Coliseum. For 
ever seen photos of that horrible scene in wrestling magazines? The pile driver was utilized when Terry Funk planted Nature Boy Ric Flair on a table at WCW's Wrestle War 89 pay-per-view. And something happened in sports entertainment in the early 90s called Extreme Championship Wrestling. ECW superstars crashed through tables all the time. And what was going on in Philadelphia caused a craze of wood being turned into wood chips thanks to tables matches. In order to win a tables match, a competitor must be the first person to put their opponent through his We've also witnessed brutality evolve and superstars crash through flaming tables. Shorten careers, Michael. Both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. I don't believe it. And that table can shorten careers, Michael. History has shown that the fire to annihilate is always burning inside Kane. What we don't know is when the demon will appear. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Jaw shattering boot. I've personally been attacked by Kane, so I speak from experience when I say the monster doesn't discriminate. The feeling of fear is very real when you see Kane walking towards you. It's a horror no one should experience. The music, the fires of hell, the image of Kane, all these things are horrifying. And then the behemoth begins his assault on an opponent. I'm getting chills just talking about this. Watcher. Oh, clobbered by the steps. That'll make you reassess some things. Oh, nasty impact. Back in from the floor. It shouldn't be a shock that the Dudley boys were involved in one of the most intense tables matches we've seen in recent memory. At the 2015 TLC event, the Dudleys called on their extreme brothers, Tommy Dreamer and Rhino, to battle the Wyatt family in an eight-man elimination tables match. People were flying everywhere that night. And in classic ECW fashion, so were the trash cans and kendo sticks. Nice neck breaker. He wants no part of the outside. I can't believe everything that's transpired this far. It's been so physical. Not a bow bomb. Yes! Unreal performance. Here is your winner, Big Daddy Cool Diesel.